My name's Double Nine, and I'm a meh emoji. I just saw the emoji movie. Here's my review. Yay. Hey, what's up, you guys? Film fan 0599 here again, and today we're going to review the Emoji Movie. So the Emoji Movie stars T.J. Miller, um, James Corden, Anna Faris, and Maya Rudolph. And what this film is basically about, it's about this guy named Gene, and he is a meh emoji. But, you know, he also has a lot more feelings to him than just meh. He can be happy, he can be sad. And this is a big problem in his world because you're supposed to be only one emoji. So when him and High Five go to this woman named Jailbreak to try to fix that, fix that whole thing. And that's what basically this whole movie is about. So what did I think of the Emoji Movie? The Emoji Movie, dear Lord Almighty, man has this... Man, hasn't this got, gotten amazing reviews? Yeah, 6% on Rotten Tomatoes. Yeesh. But, um, yeah, this movie has not gotten the most favorable of reviews. And, you know, I was not excited for this. This looked like just a one-hour product placement for emojis. That's what I got from it. I felt like that was the only reason this movie was being made. But I went into this movie, you know, with an open mind. I wanted to, you know, be like, who knows? This could have been really cool. This could be a really cool movie. Who knows? A lot of people said the Lego movie was probably just going to be a product placement with, you know, with Legos. You know, so who who knows? Who knows? And people love that movie. So who, who knows? Who knows at this point? And yeah, it's not good. It is not a good movie. It's pretty bad. Now, here's the thing. Is the Emoji Movie a bad film? Yes, it is. To me. Is the Emoji Movie one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life? Not even close. I've seen a lot worse. But, this is still a bad movie. This is still pretty awful, if you ask me. I still didn't enjoy the Emoji Movie. The Emoji Movie is still... Pretty bad. So, yeah, but I do have some positives, actually, with the Emoji Movie. And my positives are, first being, actually, the animation. The animation really wasn't that bad. A lot of people keep on saying, like, this looks like something out of, like, a straight-to-DVD film. I'm like, no, not real. Like, seriously, like, some people are calling this, like, one of the worst, like, animation they've ever seen in the movie. Have you ever seen movies like Norm of the North, Ice Age, Collision Course, like, Foo Fight for Christ's Sake, but, yeah, just, but, yeah, I'm like, it, really, the animation is not that bad, it really isn't, it's actually pretty solid, but, trust me, there are some times where the animation could be bad, I'll get more into that afterwards, but, the animation, really, for the most part, is really not that bad, it's actually, Pretty solid, to be honest with you. It's nothing, like, award-worthy or anything, but it is pretty solid, you know, and I actually thought they did a pretty solid job with the animation with this movie. It wasn't too bad to me, really. You know, and the other positive that I do have is, I actually gotta admit, the atmosphere is actually pretty cool with this movie. I'm not gonna lie to you. I thought the whole emoji world and the whole, like, you know, go into different apps and whatever. I thought that was quite interesting, honestly. I like the atmosphere they kind of build with this movie. Like, there's, like, all different types of emojis that live in this one world and everything. It was actually quite cool. I'm not gonna lie. If this, if this movie had a better script, a better director, or just, you know, like, better, maybe, like, a better script and a better director, maybe this could have been something really cool. Who knows? Like, because this world was actually pretty interesting. I do like the atmosphere that they do kind of build with this movie. It is really interesting and really cool. You know, so, yeah, I, I really do think the the um, atmosphere that they do build with this movie, with this emoji world, is actually pretty interesting. I actually really like it. And like I said, I think if, 
they got a better writer, better writers, and a better director for this movie. I feel like this might have been really cool. This could have been an actual really good movie with the world that they could have built with this movie. So, who knows? So, yeah. And really, those are my only positives with the movie. The negatives are, first being the voice acting is so dang lifeless in this movie. Really, the voice acting is really, really lifeless in this film. T.J. Miller, I love the dude. I think T.J. Miller is a fantastic comedian. But, man, was he just meh in this movie. Like his character. Really, he was. He was just not good. He really wasn't. He just gives such a bland performance in this movie. James Corden as High Five. His character annoyed the hell out of me. And I love James Corden. He's probably my favorite talk show host working today. But, man oh man, was his character annoying. Like, seriously, he was so annoying as High Five. I was just like, go away, please. He was so annoying in this movie as High Five. I literally couldn't stand him. He was probably my... No, we'll get into... No, 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 the worst character. We'll get into that into a moment. But... Yeah, he was not good at high five. Um, Anna Faris says Jailbreak wasn't that great either. I, I didn't enjoy her in, that, in this movie as well. She didn't do a good job. But the worst character in this entire movie is Maya Rudolph. Oh, as the villain. Oh, my, just, wow. This was awful. This is some of the worst voice acting perform. This is one of the worst voice acting performances I think I've ever seen in my life. She hams it up to the max. Like she is so awful in this movie. She does such a terrible job in this film. Like she acts so goofy and so over the top that even for a kids movie, it's like just stop. Really, like just stop, please. Please just stop. Like, it, she was acting so over the top. And I was just like, please, please just go away. She gave by far the worst performance out of anybody in this movie. She was so, so bad. I, I absolutely hated her in this movie. She acted so goofy and so over the top to a point where I was just like, get off of my screen. I, I'm getting sick and tired of you. And then you have Patrick Stewart. Pa Patrick Stewart. Sir Patrick Stewart. As poop. He, uh, oh, you probably didn't hear, hear me right the first time. You're probably like, w wait, did he just say what I think? Y yes! Sir Patrick Stewart plays poop. He plays poop. Literal poop. Literal feces. He, he plays poop. <gasps> Moving on. Um, Yeah, that's all you need to know. Patrick Stewart plays poop. Um, the animation with the humans. Now, there's a whole subplot. I'll, I'll get more into that afterwards. But uh, there's, but whenever we cut to the humans, that's when I think the animation is really terrible. To be honest with you, like, you know, when they're in the emoji world and stuff, that the animation really isn't that bad to me. It, it's pretty solid. It's tolerable, really. Like, it's pretty. It's pretty solid. But wherever they cut to the human world, it looks really terrible. Now, uh, wow, like, it looks really terrible when they cut to the human world, I will admit. Like, now that looks straight to DVD, the whole when they cut to, like, the humans and stuff. It, like, seriously, now that's what looked terrible to me in terms of the animation was whenever they would cut to the human stuff. Um, the humor doesn't work. It doesn't. Like, the... They make jokes in this movie that are, like, really, like, they're written by a five-year-old. Like, and I get it, this movie is made for kids and stuff, but goodness gracious, you can do better than this. Like, you can do way, way better than this in terms of writing for kids. You, you can do really way better than this. Like, the comedy is just awful. Like, there's not a single point in this movie that made me laugh. Like, it is really terrible, the comedy in this movie. The whole subplot, there's this whole subplot that it's just like one of the most pointless subplots in the entire movie. Like, just just in general, really, it's just a, a pointless subplot. Like, there's this kid named Alex who, actually, J.T. Austin, if you know from, like, he played, um, Max on Wizards of Waverly Place. Like, that's who plays Alex in this movie. 
and you know he's trying to like ask a girl out or something but he doesn't know what right emoji to use and stuff it's really just a pointless subplot like it really is it's so pointless and it's just like why this it's just so pointless it is just a just a really really pointless subplot and i didn't really enjoy it not to mention that this movie is just so just it's it's so like it rips off so many movies like it's a basic ripoff of wreck it ralph inside out it's basically the biggest ripoff of those two movies like it's just like Wow, they, they can't even be original with this. They can't even come up with their own story with this. It's just, they had to blatantly rip, blatantly rip off those two movies. Like, seriously, it's just, wow, like, you, man, man, oh man, oh man. The writing with this movie is completely awful. The writing is just really, really bad with this film. Some really terrible writing, like it really is. Like, the dialogue for all these characters or really bad to be honest with you like it's just so so terrible the directing isn't even that great the pacing this movie moves at a snail's pace it is an hour and 30 minutes i believe and it moves at a snail's pace ladies and gentlemen because it is boring this movie it really is it, it's really boring this film like it just, it never ends. It really doesn't. This movie moves at such a snail's pace. So, overall, the Emoji Movie. The Emoji Movie. Is it one of the worst things to ever happen to humanity? To me, not really. But is it still bad? Yes, it is. It's still an awful film. I did not enjoy the Emoji Movie whatsoever. It is a really bad film. So, it's time for my official grade on the Emoji Movie, and my official grade on the Emoji Movie is a D. It's a pretty bad film. Like I said, the animation really isn't that bad when we're in the Emoji world and stuff. And like I said, I do like the atmosphere that they do build with this Emoji world. It's actually pretty interesting. It's really the biggest positive I could give this movie. But besides that, it's nothing more than just a lazy... um cash grab product placement of a movie that's all the emoji really the emoji movie really is and i did enjoy it and it definitely deserves a d so if you have seen the emoji movie what did you think of it leave it in the comment section below and i'm film fan 0599 and we'll see you out later peace